do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students today we will discuss about one interesting concept of equation of continuity that we will discuss and that is useful in various day to day life so let us understand what is equation of continuity so let's let us uh, understand the principle of uh, continuity or equation of continuity whatever you may say the principle of principle of equation of continuity so when uh, liquid flows or gas flows i will talk about liquid now so supposing that uh, liquid is flowing in a tube in a very disciplined way in a in the streamlined flow or laminar flow in a streamlined flow of liquid in a tube the principle of continuity says that whatever amount of water suppose liquid is water then whatever amount of water is flowing in must come out that's all whatever goes in must come out so this is the basic meaning of principle of continuity so therefore i draw a picture for you suppose that i have a this is a tube of variable cross sectional area decreasing from this side to this side greater radius smaller radius suppose that liquid is flowing inside the tube in a streamlined manner in a disciplined manner because liquids are also very disciplined and uh, this is a portion of a tube under consideration that means this is a tube or a pipe i just consider a small section of that pipe so water is coming from this side and going up from that side so here to this x and y say section of the tube under consideration the water is entering in and coming out from this side y let us say that the area of cross section uh, at x section is uh, a or a1 the area of cross section here at this side is suppose uh, a2 this is the area of cross section the velocity with which the liquid is moving in is suppose uh, v1 over there and the uh, rate uh, the speed or uh, flow at this end is v2 now i will definitely say for one thing that if 1 kg of mass of water is entering every second at this end then 1 kg of water must come out from this end every second so if i do that if i can write that then i write the mass flow rate so be constant this is a very basic idea that means mass of liquid flowing per second so be constant at this section or at this section or any other section if you Feel you have to apply at this section at the section X. The mass flow rate is suppose that m1 is the mass that is entering in time say t seconds. Then or let's say the mass time has to be same t seconds, and in y section. m2 mass is coming out in t seconds 
what the statement says is that the mass coming in must come out every second so these two must be equal if i equate the mass flow rate at any section to any other section then what i write m1 by t must be equal to n2 by t mass is density into volume this is the density so density is rho i write like that this v is the volume i have used different notations this v stands for volume and this small v1 is the velocity at this end and v2 is the velocity at that end so these are the velocities so the small one i have used for the velocity and the capital one i have used for volume so mass is density into volume so i write uh, the density the water that is coming in from the entry point the density into volume v1 suppose this is entering v1 volume is entering in by time t equals to density into v2 by t why density is same because we have considered that uh, the principle of uh, continuity is valid when the liquid or fluid flowing is uh, incompressible for uh, for incompressible liquid the density is constant if the density is constant then uh, the density of water while it is a com coming in and going out so throughout this motion the density is not going to change if the density is not going to change because it is incompressible the density will remain the same so i cancel out if i cancel out i am left with v1 by t and v2 by what is v1 by t if you look carefully at this diagram you will see that this the liquid that is coming in from this section and the liquid that is going out from that other section the liquid that is coming in is having volume v1 every second v1 is the volume that is entering in v1 every second that means how much is the volume of liquid in one second that we calculate the volume is the area of cross section and the distance it moves because volume is area of cross section because the cylindrical portion the area of cross section and the length the distance out to which it flows in that particular time so in t seconds the liquid entering in moves through a distance suppose this distance is uh, say x1 and the other side it is x2 so what i am say is the liquid here is entering a distance x1 in time t or t1 one side time can be same so in time t this much of liquid is moving through a distance x1 in time t so the liquid which is here moves through x distance in this much of time then what is the volume so how much volume this sweeps this liquid of area a1 which is present sweeps a volume equals to x1 into a1 this is the volume so volume basically v1 means this area of cross section the liquid present in this area of cross section moves through a distance x1 so that's the volume so in t, t time the liquid is moving through x1 
and the area cross section is a1 so volume is a1 x1 so therefore i have used the equation so far that m1 by t is m2 by t from that i got v1 by t equals to v2 by t here v is the volume density being same cancels out now volume is i am getting a1 x1 at the first end at the other end i am getting here the volume is uh, a1 moving through x1 displacement here a2 area moving through x2 displacement so the volume here is this and the volume here is uh, a2 x2 divided by time i'm not cancelling the time because i am interested in uh, to write the equation of continuity in uh, velocity form not volume form a1 is the area cross section and this x1 is the displacement of the liquid in time t so therefore this is the velocity at this end this is the displacement of time so this is the velocity at this end similarly this is a2 and this is the velocity at this end so from here we are getting a1 v1 is a2 v2 or a into v is a constant this is known as this is called as the principle of continuity that area cross section into velocity at any section is always constant that means so in short i can write that the area cross section and the velocity is constant that means area cross section is inversely proportional to velocity or velocity is inversely proportional to area what is the meaning of that in a point if i area cross section is less then the velocity will be more if you want more speed of the liquid through a pipe you have to decrease the area cross section that we have to use to do suppose while watering plants you must have closed the slightly close the mouth of the pipe if you by closing that you are decreasing the area cross section when you decrease the area cross section speed increases in case of fire fighting fire extinguisher also if you can see that uh, in a pipe hose pipe at the end or the, at the end of the that they attach nozzles the nozzles or uh, they attach a small nozzle means uh, a tube or a cylindrical object or having very less area of cross section nozzle so they reduce the area cross section so that the speed will increase because they want more speed because the uh, fire extinguisher the purpose is to to send the water to to larger distance so for that the speed of the water must be high so that the water can reach up to the point where the uh, we want to extinguish the fire suppose the fifth story building or 10th story building so water has to reach that point so the speed should be more so so that they use the uh, nozzle at the end of the pipe of very small area cross section so that increases the speed of the flow again i'm repeating that this is called the mass flow rate this is called the volume flow rate this is the area cross section and this is velocity the product of the area of cross section and the velocity at any cross section is same that is the principle of continuity okay so students thank you very much for this